Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is part two of my full ground up restoration of my 1970 CUDA. As mentioned in part one, I bought this sight unseen off eBay that was in this trailer and I knew very little about the car other than the fact that it was a rust free numbers matching original paint 383 four speed CUDA. As seen in these shots from part one, you can see it is rare to find a rust-free original paint project muscle car of any kind these days. Please go to my channel and view part one to see each step of the bodywork and paint process. These are some of the shots from part one that show the car when we first pulled it out of the trailer. Now, there's nothing more frustrating than getting the car all beautifully painted just to find out that the holes that were in the doors, both doors for the mirrors, were completely in the wrong place on the passenger door. And on the driver's door, there was an extra third hole. As you'll see here, in the next shots coming up. As you can see, there's the third hole there on the driver's door. And the holes on the passenger door were in a completely wrong place. So we had to weld up all the holes that were wrong and re-drill them and then repaint the entire car, both doors, both front fenders, and the engine compartment. And here it is after it was repainted. So this next shot will show you, uh, the, the Mark will ex Marco will explain to you the cut and polish process. This one, compound, this one. Right. And then for uh, ultra polish, those ones. You can remove all the marks from the buffing. Yeah. This one or that one. And those are the ones that you remove the scratches with. This is the remove. This is the compound. That's what. That's the. That's the number one that will remove the scratches. Well, after remove the scratches, we use either or. I see. Because this is to remove the mark, the right. buffing left from using the compound. And this one does pretty much the last step to remove That's the all the last part. step. Yeah. Right. They make the paint like this. Right. And also the last step is just the regular wax. You know, the cherry right. one that they look like the right. part, look right. like, like glass, yeah. But yeah, that's what it is. Great. So I'm focusing on each step, each polish used at each step here. Then after the car was cut and polished, as you can see, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. And a big thanks to Marco for doing a superb job on the cutting and the polishing. So these shots are taken back at my shop, which is basically across the street from the body shop. And I'm, we did a final wash on the car before we moved it into my shop. 
So as these shots are shown to you here, I want to thank you guys for watching, and please like and subscribe to my channel for a lot more coming on this car and other restorations that I'm doing on the channel, including my 69, I have a Le Mans Blue 69 Z28 Camaro and a Hugger Orange Z28 Camaro as well. So I'm going to be having a lot of videos coming up on both those cars as well as this one coming up very soon. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. And check out part one of this CUDA, because I show each step of the process of the bodywork and paint from the time we pulled it out of the trailer, and I show all the documentation that came with the car all the way up to the final paint job. So I think you will find that very interesting. And again, future videos on this car will show the car being built back up to the point of its running and driving. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video coming up very soon.